You want to open the vlog with me? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be starting our Christmas decorating around the apartment. So this year, I didn't go all out. Just because we're in an apartment and I know we'll be in our new house next year, um, so I feel like I should save all of my like crazy ideas for the house and just kind of keep it low key here. But with that said, Knox is too, and I still want it to feel um, you know festive in here and I really want to make this Christmas special regardless of where we are I picked up just a handful of new decor items and then the rest of it is all gonna be from last season Yo huh? What's happening? Hello. Did you get sissy's car for her? Oh. Whoa, and then once I Ouch, that was my toe Once I use um, all the decor that we currently have I'm um, going to make a list of things that I would like to get if I feel like we are missing decor anywhere. So since I am doing this with the two kids home by myself, I kind of assume this might take a little bit longer than expected. So I'm just going to be vlogging throughout the week. If I pick up new items, I will share that. And then on Sunday, we are getting our tree. So I'll do like a little morning vlog with the family and all of that. First thing that I need to do is take down our fall decor, uh, which I did not do much fall decor at all. I just like threw up some pumpkins and things like that. So I'm just going to throw everything in a bin. So these little pumpkins I got at Hobby Lobby. I got them in a pack. They came in like a pretty large pack for $9.99 or something. So I am just going to go around the house and collect pumpkins. Sissy is currently over there in her swing. Knox the Million is driving around. Where are you going? Bye. Oh, Knox must have redecorated these ones already or rearranged them. I have this fall like, um, I don't even know what to call it, floral thing in a couple places around the house and I feel like they could definitely work for Christmas too but I don't know if I want to pick up something else for Christmas. Alright buddy, you want to go see where the other pumpkins are? Put it in the bin and then we're going to go get our Christmas stuff. Want to help me? Christmas stuff. Christmas stuff. Thank you for the help, love. Oh. <laughs> Alright. Do you see any other pumpkins that we should put in the bin? Where are our other pumpkins? I see some up here. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> okay. Yeah, those are also pumpkins. Thank you for the help, sweet pea. This seriously might be it for fall decor, guys. I think that's really all I did. And like I said, um, the little like floral arrangements too. Which maybe I should get something a little more Christmassy. You want to go get the Christmas stuff? Yeah. Woo! Okay, guys, so this is what I have for Christmas decor. So I bought some new things in the Target dollar spot. Um, I got this little, like, black tin house, which is so cute and actually lights up. I got a bunch of these ceramic trees, which these are going to have to go probably higher up just so that they don't get mashed um and then i got some of these wooden trees as well a bunch of different sizes and colors and shapes like i said all in the dollar spot and then i went a little crazy with these guys i'm obsessed these are so cute they're like little boho fringy fluffy yarn trees um so i got a bunch of those in the cream and in the green some more little wooden trees I bought Knox a little $5 tree from the dollar spot at Target and I put it in his room, it's on his nightstand. And then I got these so that he could decorate his own tree. I thought these were really adorable. Again, just in the dollar spot at Target. These were five bucks for the set. And then I just got two things from Hearth and Hand. This is one of them. This is probably my favorite thing that I got this season. I just think it's so pretty. I really kind of want another one, but I think I want to put it above this mirror. like up there if that makes sense and this was 15 bucks which especially for that line at target i feel like this could have easily been like 30 dollars or something kind of crazy but i feel like that was pretty affordable so i also think it would look really pretty like over a window or i think this would be really pretty on the mantle like right in the center but um these i picked up last year but oh wow we have a 
pinky in here. I picked up these last year in the dollar spot at Target, but they had them again this year. So in case you guys are looking for some little wreaths, I always think these look cute hanging from like kitchen cabinets or something like that. So I have, I think I just have two of those. And then the last item that I got, this was the other one from Hearth and Hand, and it's just this little glass plant. I think this was $4.99. Um, I just think it looks really cute. It'd be a good one in the bathroom. Sit on my bed, I got nothing to do. Take out my phone and stick camera to you. I'm really bored. Please don't ignore. Started as fun, now I randomly know. You love rainy days and you still live at home. It's cool to see. You're real with me. Here, why don't we open this? We'll go bring it in your room. We'll decorate your tree. Yeah. You would like to put that in your room too? A tree. Oh. A tree. Okay, so for those of you guys who didn't see our last vlog, um, I've redone Knox's room a little bit. We did hang these lights the other day. These are like bistro lights, but I thought it was perfect for this time of year because we could leave them up. Um, afterwards, they're not like overly Christmassy, but they're super cute and he loves them. Um, today is Knox's day at um, daycare so this is usually when Sissy and I run errands work like crazy do a million loads of laundry and just do all the things it's currently like 11 o'clock and we ran a couple errands this morning really quickly before I forget that's why I'm kind of like lingering in the bathroom <laughs> um, entryway I just want to mention the lip color I have on because I feel like I'll get questions this is the Jawar um, oh I can't see Via Condotti, Via Condotti, Sheer Pigment Lip Gloss. I'm like holding it this close to my eye trying to read it. But yeah, I have been loving this. I think it's so fun for the holiday season. It's like a purpley pink color. And I'm not a big gloss girl and I'm not a big like pink girl, but there's something about this pink in this gloss that just, mm, so good. So I have that on my lips. <clears throat> I'm choking on a chip. I'm gonna update you guys on all the stuff that we decorated between whenever I was filming the other day and now. But in the midst of decorating, I kind of realized like we have had the same exact bedding, mostly like our throw pillows for, we're going on like a year in a month or two. And they're just looking a little tired and I'm just kind of sick of looking at them. So I really wanted to kind of redo our bed. I wanted to get a mattress pad and just make it really, really cozy and kind of figure out a new way to make our bed. All right, this is not very good lighting, but we're gonna make it work. Okay, so I went to Hobby Lobby this morning and just grabbed a few things. I only went there because TJ's didn't open until 
10 and we had like a half hour to kill so <laughs> of course I bought stuff but I decided to not get Knox a new rug in his room just because I really love that rug and if you guys missed my last vlog I was looking for a new rug because his duvet cover is like perfectly white and the rug is definitely like a warm cream color and it was just really clashing I don't mind the mix of white and cream but it honestly was just making the rug look super dirty. So I was kind of looking for a new rug and then one of you guys was like, why don't you just get a new duvet cover instead of, like a duvet cover is like 30 bucks and then a new rug is hundreds of dollars. I was like, oh, duh. So anyway, I found this blanket at Hobby Lobby. It was 15 bucks. Um, it's so cute, but I'm gonna throw this over his bed because this is more of like a cream color. And how cute is this? It's got like little fringe and uh, little pom-pom things, but his sheets are literally this exact green color, like ex it's going to match his bed perfectly. So it's just got a little bit of green in it and gray, so this will match his room perfectly. So I'm just going to throw that on there and um, I think that will make the rug look a lot better. She's got like a perfectly round head, <laughs> little mama. And then all the Christmas decor at Hobby Lobby was 50% off. So I got some of these trees, which I love. Oh my gosh, I love these so much. If we were in our house, I would have bought a ton of these. The big ones, um, these were the larger ones. These were $11.99 and then the 50% off. So they were around $6. They had these smaller ones and these were $7.99. But I just, I'm obsessed with these. These are like probably my favorite trees I've found this season. By the way, anything that I mentioned in this video, guys, I'll try to link uh, for you down below. I'll try to find the exact ones, but if I can't, I will try to find something like on Amazon Prime or something similar. That way, if you guys are living in an area um, that's like, you know, you don't feel comfortable going out into the stores or something like that, I'll try to find places that you can get them shipped to you like within a reasonable amount of time, if that makes sense. At TJ Maxx, I just bought some Christmas bags. So I always like to do like a theme, themed tree, um, which is generally just like white, cream, gold, um, and things like that. So I saw these bags and I thought they were really cute. They have like a little touch of like a very muted green in them. And this one's got like light bluish green polka dots. Just really, really cute. So I grabbed a pack of those. I think this pack was $4.99 and bags can be really expensive. And these came with three. So I bought those. I feel like I'm talking so fast for some reason. Um, and then I picked up this Calvin Klein mattress pad. And this feels really, really nice. This was $40, which I feel like for a king is actually very reasonable. The one I was looking at on Amazon was a lot more expensive than that. So I know there is a really nice one on Amazon for around $75. So mainly I wanted a mattress pad one because I feed her in our bed like in the morning and she's always leaking through our sheets and um, like spitting up or I'm leaking through our sheets and it's getting into our mattress which is disgusting. I wanted to get a mattress pad that kind of helped prevent that and something that I can take off and wash. <laughs> I think I meant to get a waterproof one, but whatever. It will help nonetheless. Then I found these pillows, which I'm not like obsessed with, but I did really like them and they were the size and kind of color and vibe that I was looking for. So we'll see, we'll see how they look, but they're just these huge, huge pillows. It's like a cream color with like a tan um, pattern and texture on them. These were 30 bucks, which for this size and they're real like down pillow so you can uh, chop them, if you know the, the pillow chop. <laughs> so I felt like these were actually a really decent price. They're pretty. I mean, they look nice. And then, oh, let me, I'll save the best for last. Um, I did grab these uh, little knobs, cabinet knobs is what I was looking for. These were $12.99 and I just wanted something different on those. We have a lot of black and cream in our room and it's just like a lot of black and cream so i wanted a little offset of something else our mirror is gold and we have a couple little accents in here that are gold um okay the star of the show i'm obsessed with this pillow i honestly i don't know i might go back and uh get a couple more and put them on the couch i'm not sure and this was twenty dollars when i saw this pillow i was like that is going to be a fifty dollar pillow like hands down it's going to be wicked expensive are you serious? Is it just me? I'm obsessed with it. I think it's like so beautiful. I love the color of it, the texture. Obviously the fringe is just so cool and fun. And yeah, like I said, I might need to go back and get 
um, a couple more of these because I really love them. TJ Maxx is tricky for me to um, find the links for things because you can't like type in the brand. But I bet if I type in fringe pillow, I might be able to find the link for you guys. I will do my best and try to link these because I feel like I've never really seen a pillow like this before. Maybe maybe it's like a dupe for another like designer or something and maybe maybe you guys have seen it before but I had never seen a pillow like that before so I was pretty excited. I am going to make the bed and we'll see how it looks. Huh? Oh I forgot the best part! So I found something at Target that I'm really excited to share with you guys. Um, long story short, I was in Bed Bath & Beyond a while ago, and I'm obsessed with the Ugg bedding. I don't know if you guys have ever seen it, or even knew that Ugg made bedding, but it is so luxurious and so, uh, it just, every single thing that they make, whether it be a throw pillow, a throw blanket, um, a set of sheets, like, whatever it is, it just makes you want to crawl into bed. Like, it is the best material, it's everything. And I saw this blanket that was, like, a faux braided fur blanket and it was obnoxiously plush and delicious and it was $200 I think. I was not about to spend $200 on a throw blanket so so when I saw these at Target I knew that I wanted one. It's $30 and it reminds me so much of that Ugg blanket that I fell in love with. This is what it looks like so I don't know if you guys yeah you can see the texture how beautiful is that like if you were gonna throw this over a chair I mean, this looks like an $80 blanket easily. I had it in cream, dark gray, and then they also had it in like a tan color that was really, really pretty. And I think that was it. They might have had one other color. I will definitely link this for you guys down below. The texture, everything is just so amazing. So I'm really excited to put this on our bed. Oh, it's a flying car. sweetest okay so this is our bed right now this is her little teether that my friend made her but I don't even have the duvet cover on right now it's just the duvet and then we've got some throw pillows all the throw pillows are from TJ Maxx this throw I found at Ocean State Job Lot and I actually really love it it's really nice it was like $15 and it's humongous this is folded in half so it's really big um, which I love but yeah I'm just going to remake the bed by the way this is from Burlington Coat Factory it's so cute we actually use this quite often too on our mattress and our bed frame I will link them both down below we have nothing bad to say about them we love our mattress we love this bed frame this bed frame is so affordable in comparison to a lot of the bed frames that I feel like look like this um, and like it was really easy to put together it's really I'm like shaking it it's really sturdy um, so I would definitely recommend it especially uh, like I said for the price I just think it's really really good um, and we love it I love the look of it and everything but yeah got this duvet cover off the Walmart website. I love this. I love the way it feels. I love the texture on it. I feel like this is the easiest way to have it neutral but not like too plain if that makes sense. Like if you want a little something it has the design and the texture on it so I really love it. My hair was really bugging me so I've got like a double bun situation going on but it's just temporary.
Honestly, everybody deserves to have a bed that they cannot wait to crawl into. This is so worth, even if you have to save up, guys, I'm telling you, your bed is so worth it. Oh my gosh, I could not be happier with the way this looks. Really quickly, I just wanted to show you guys what the knobs looked like before. But all you have to do is unscrew the knobs. So it came with this knob on it and like a little screw on the other side. And I bought these ones. So I'm going to pop these on. And I think it's going to give it a nice, fresh look. Okay, guys, again, don't mind the laundry over here. But what do we think? Do we like the gold? Did we like the black better? Um, the only thing with the gold is that you can see where the black was around the back like it chipped the paint off so I could definitely repair that and like color match the dresser but I don't even know if it's worth it because they're just temporary what's the matter my love I think little miss is ready you ready for your nap mama yes okay I still need to pick up my mess over here but this is how the bed and everything came out I'm obsessed with the bedding like this blanket just still looks so much more expensive than $30. I think it completely makes the bed. I just think it looks really nice and cozy. I also think that the mattress pad added a lot to like the fullness of the bed. But yeah, I am really, really happy with it. And it feels very cozy and wintry without being like Christmassy. Like I definitely feel like I can leave this up through the spring and everything, especially where we live in Maine, because it's going to be cold for a while. Good morning, guys. It is now Thursday. It's Thanksgiving day. Got Knox playing with some Play-Doh, sissy back there. So I wanted to show you guys what we've decorated so far since I don't think I included it um, yesterday. So I want to show you the mantle and like the front table and the entryway and stuff. And then I'm making some simple, super, super simple, three ingredient pumpkin um, cookies for my mom's Thanksgiving. So I wanted to share with you guys that recipe because it's literally so simple. It's my go-to and the cookies are like one of my favorites. Okay, so I just set the oven to 350 and while that's warming up, I'll show you guys some of the decorations. The house looks like a bomb went off. I'm telling you that right now. Look at, look at, look at the house guys. Hot Mess Express. Um, we are staying the night at my mom's house tonight, so that's why I have some bags packed. But this is the front entry table. This is how I decorated it. So this piece up here was the piece that I shared earlier from Target. These trees were the ones I found from Hobby Lobby. Those are, uh, I think, from TJ Maxx last year. That is that. And then the mantle has to be my favorite part. Can I just show you an overview of our living room right now? Also, this is what we have been doing to make snacks more interesting. I put like a bunch of different snacks in here. As you can see, there's quite a few cups empty, so it gets him to enjoy his snacks. And then this is like our designated floor mattress because we got Sissy a new mattress, which I actually want to share with you guys, and I'll share that in just a little bit. Um, this is her old crib mattress, so it's now a designated floor mattress because Knox loves to jump on. But anyway, for the mantle, we have this greenery that is flocked that I got at Walmart. This is like my third year in a row using it. I believe it was like $13.99 or something and it's so beautiful it's so like full and there's a lot of flocking on it and then this string of lights this doesn't come with it it's just like a 11 foot string of lights I believe and that was two dollars and fifty cents from Target so this whole mantle piece with the exception of like the little things I added just the greenery and the lights literally under fifteen dollars can you believe that it easily looks like a thirty forty fifty dollar piece and then these I got in the dollar spot at Target for $3 a piece. I got two of them, just one over there and one here. And then this piece I got like three years ago at TJ Maxx, I, I believe I was going to say. <laughs> over here I put our other Hobby Lobby trees. I have my diffuser from Target, which I love. And then this little black house that lights up. So yeah, I just think that looks so pretty. I think we're so lucky to have a mantle like this in a rental property. It's just so cozy. So this is what I did in the kitchen on both sides of the sink. I just hung one of these $3 wreaths from Target and then I used the little trees from the dollar spot and just put them here as like a little accent. And I did a little something different on this side. And then this sign here says, oh dear. And I believe I got that in the dollar spot at Target last year. All right, in the bathroom, I just put this sign that says happy holidays. I rolled up some washcloths, put a little gold candle that I think I got this at the dollar store and then in our bedroom I'm still not like sold on this I don't know I feel like I want more of those white trees from Hobby Lobby to put like up here but I love these little houses again from the Target dollar spot that is where I've pretty much gotten all of my decor okay guys for the three ingredient cookies all you need is one box of spice cake mix 
Okay, you want to help make cookies? Yeah. So one box cake mix, one can of pumpkin. Make sure it's not pumpkin pie, it's just plain pumpkin. Then some chocolate chips. I always get the Ghirardelli uh, dark chocolate chips or I get the Lily's uh, chocolate chips. But this is what we got this time. So literally throw it all in a bowl and mix it up. Thank you. All right. Sorry, sweet pea. You mean the bunk, yeah? Thank you. Ah, what? Yay. What, rain? Yay, Mama. Yay or rain? Yay. Rain. Yay, Mama. Yay, Mama. Yay? Yeah. Yay, Mama. Yeah. Am I doing a good job? Thank you. Thanks for cheering me on. Relax. The bird. Yeah, don't play in them, please. Yeah. It's not to play in. You do like the batter? Mm. That I like. Yeah. Daddy's going to like them a lot. Yeah. Also, if you guys would like to see like a video of Knox and I baking together or something like that, um, Melina Sicotti did a video with her two-year-old where they were like baking and stuff and it was super cute And I think it would be such a fun video like around the holidays and stuff So let me know in a comment down below if you guys want to see that because I think he would really enjoy it I'm gonna throw these in the oven. I honestly don't know how long I put them in for um, After like 12 minutes I check them, but it completely depends on how big you make them mine are always humongous like those cookies are huge so um, they'll probably need a little bit in the oven, but Can you drop your bowl? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that? 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 We are supposed to be going to get our tree. I'm saying supposed to be. We're going to get our tree. I don't know why I said that. So we go to a Christmas tree farm and we cut one down. And I don't know if we'll have time to decorate it today. Hopefully. So that's what we're doing this morning. But I'm cooking some eggs, which by the way, these are new pans um, from Amazon. And like nothing sticks to them. I'll link them down below. The, the brand that we got them from has like a bunch of different pans and stuff. So I'm really intrigued. They weren't that expensive and like literally nothing sticks. Like you can't get anything to stick in this pan. It's awesome. Yeah, anyway, but I'm cooking some scrambled eggs. The boys are putting together some really cool chairs that I got from Walmart. I'm obsessed with them. They're so cute. You guys have probably seen that like egg chair trend that was crazy this summer. Better Homes and Gardens um, from Walmart came out with some kids once. And then this is what it looks like when it's finished. So. It's like the perfect size for a little kid, but they're just so cute. And each chair was a hundred bucks, $99, I think it is. Um, so I feel like that's so affordable for this look and everything. And they feel very sturdy. They can hold up to 250 pounds. They are for outdoors, but I think they're cute inside too. I was going to put like a little throw blanket in it and uh, maybe even like a throw pillow or something to make it cute for like a little reading corner in his room. What are you doing? Helping dad? I love that. All right, guys, we just got to the tree farm, so we're gonna get the kids out and go pick out a tree. So usually I like a big, fat tree, like big, bigger, fatter, the better. <laughs> but um, we kind of need more of like a narrow one, so. I'm coming, bud. You ready to get out?
back. Um, you guys can see the tree back there. We decided to put it in the back of the living room. I'm talking really quiet because we just put the kids down. I keep thinking there's something in my face, but it's just on the um, viewfinder. But there is our tree. And it's super cute. It's like kind of still like a fat tree like I like. Um, but it's like the perfect height to put like a little star on, which I'm not even sure if we have a star for our tree. I can't remember, but, but yeah. And then these I'm going to put in Knox's room later. I have like a whole, um, concept, like idea for those. I have to throw myself together, um, or just change my outfit cause I'm in a hoodie and we're going over to my dad's for Thanksgiving. So I remembered that I said I would tell you guys about Elle's new mattress. So I'm going to bring you in there and I'll share all the details on that. All right guys. So here is Elle's new crib mattress. Obviously it just looks like a regular old mattress and we don't have a sheet on it right now. I have to get a sheet, but, um, so this is just like the mattress as is. So this mattress is by Newton baby and they reached out to me asking if I wanted to try out the mattress and all of that. And I'm so glad that we did. As soon as I popped on their site, um, I saw all the information on the mattress and the company just looks and sounds amazing. And now I can say after using this mattress for a week, we are completely obsessed with it. I really wish that I had gotten our reaction when we first opened it because one of the coolest features of this mattress is that it's the only mattress that is 100% breathable. So you can legitimately put the mattress against your face and breathe through it. Like you can breathe through the mattress, which how comforting as a parent with a baby um, to know that what they're sleeping on is something they can breathe through. The Newton baby mattresses have the lowest suffocation risks. So um, it's just really comforting to know. They're also um, hypoallergenic. They are 100% washable. And because it's so breathable, if you have a hot baby, like Elle is a very, very hot baby. And anytime I pick her up or nurse her in the middle of the night, like the, her whole back is sweaty. It's not like trapping the heat underneath their backs. So I like that this also prevents that like sweaty back sleep. Um, I want to pull it out and like show you guys how I can breathe through it. I don't even know if you're going to be able to like see, but the other really great thing about this mattress is it's actually comfortable. Like it's, it feels almost, it's not like memory foam, but it's just a very different material than the crib mattresses I have felt. And the one that we had, you could actually like run your hand across it and almost feel like the springs in the mattress. I have a lot of chapstick on. I rip it off. I mean, it's washable, like I said, but I don't want my chapstick all over it. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how I can literally breathe through it. Like I said, I wish that I had gotten our reactions because I, when I first like breathed through it, breathed through it, I was like, oh my gosh. And then I was like, Kyle, come here. And I said, this is really strange, but breathe through this mattress. And then he did. And he's like, that's weird. He's like, I'm going to go try our mattress. And we went in our room and we're trying to breathe through our memory foam mattress, which was much harder. Like definitely not something I want my baby face down on. Can you guys hear that? <laughs> I'm hoping you guys can hear that. Like I can literally breathe through it. Like if you try to breathe through your sleeve, hard and then this is just like so easy to I I can't even describe it it is so comforting knowing this is like the safest mattress that your baby can sleep on like I am just obsessed I wish we had had this with Knox I'm really glad we have it now I will absolutely save this for our next baby and I want to thank Newton baby for sending us this mattress and I'm so glad that they reached out to me and wanted to partner on this portion of today's video because I couldn't be happier to be sharing this with you guys. I know it's really hard to be a first time parent. I know it's really hard to have little ones and, and I know what it's like to be really stressed about their sleeping situation and all of that. So this just makes me feel so much better. I wanted to share it in this video because let me know what you guys think I should get for a crib mattress cover. Um, should I go with the same kind of floral that's on her changing table? I almost feel like I should just do a plain color. Like I was kind of thinking like a rust or something like that. One other thing that I wanted to mention about this mattress, they actually offer a 100 night trial for the mattress that is free shipping and free return shipping. You can actually try it out and make sure that it's gonna be something you are going to like before you spend the money on it. So just wanted to share that. Okay, so I'm gonna share the sneakers that I am going to gift Kyle for Christmas. I also have a pair that I'm going to gift to my mom and these are from Loom Footwear. The sneakers themselves are very cute. They are very simple, styles that are like perfect for every day they come in black or white and they may have come in one other color um, but it's just very basic simple 
but the really cool thing about these is they are supposedly completely waterproof like you can literally submerge the sneaker into water and your foot will not get wet so so these are the white ones like i said these are the ones i'm going to gift to my mom um but they're super duper cute i can actually put this one on for you guys so you can see what it looks like on and they're very comfortable but look how cute they are i mean they're definitely like a stylish, cute sneaker. And I love that these are waterproof sneakers. I've I've never really heard of that. So, so these are the black ones. Again, I just think they are so nice and stylish looking. This is like a little reflector. Uh, they're just really, really lightweight. I don't even know how to describe like the fabric and stuff, but yeah, I'm excited about these. I wanted to share them in case you're in the market for something like that. You wanted to gift someone some sneakers i would say they run a little bit big though so maybe go like a half size down or something but i'm gonna hop on get some emails done and things like that and yeah i'll catch up with you guys in a little bit <laughs> vlog here I have so so much laundry to fold but I'm so far behind on laundry I just like I have to do it <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this little like decorate with me I have some really fun content planned this month so I hope you guys are gonna stick around for all of that we are almost through 2020 it's almost over <laughs> um sadly that really doesn't mean anything but I am hoping to get a fresh start on the new year look how tired my eyes are <laughs> holy smokes um I love you guys I hope you're all doing well and I'll see you in the next video Bye guys.